so we're just doing some some casual table joining here we're getting trying to get population by state so we have to join together these public BigQuery data sets the population by zip code and then the zip codes table data set which has um, the state in it so we could join up our state and our zip code uh, so this is kind of an ugly query right if I were just if you didn't see this before watch the last video where I we wrote this query um, you'd be a little confused and it's, this would take some time to read so let's go through another method of joining where instead of having all of these you know conditions outside of the join um, we do all of our filtering and grouping first um, so that when we're joining the join is clean and we're just you know kind of joining the tables together so to do that we can use this uh, uh, I'm not sure what it's called parameter or you know function almost not really a function just a phrase uh, to define tables with this phrase with so if we say with um, we can define a table name and we'll say census as and then whatever we type in here select star from census becomes our our um, and star means means uh, all columns if you didn't know um, that becomes the table census and then later on in our other um, the rest of our query we could just say from census we don't need to define the table um, but what that lets us do is so you'll notice in the census table what we're doing is we're pulling um, the zip code and we're calling it and we're pulling the um, population so we want to pull the zip code on the population from the census uh, population by zip 2010 table in the public data set. Uh, and what else do we need there? Oh, so we have these filters. So we don't want, it has these, um, it has a lot of extraneous data by age ranges and, and gender segments. So female, male by age, you know, 25 to 35, whatever it is. We just want the totals, so we want when those segments are null. So the minimum age, maximum age, and gender is null. You know, in the last lesson we read the the table schema and the definitions and figured out that's the logic that we need. Um, so let's push that logic up into our width, so that we don't need to confuse and it makes our our uh, our join down here look easier to read. Um, and the last thing that we can do is, if we remembered. Um, you know, we want to group together all the zip codes from a different state. Actually, we can't pull, we have to do that grouping still after our join because we are going to join together the state code, the population via the, the zip code, and then we're going to roll it up by state. Okay, so this is our census data. We're pulling zip code and population from the zip code zip table or census zip table, uh, and we're filtering for. Um, minimum age, maximum age, and gender. We're doing that filtering outside of our join so that it, the join logic is a little clearer to read. Um, so if we want to define a second width table, we can say uh, with sense with zip as, and then as long as you comma separate, you can list as many tables as you want with, with a width statement, and then just your last one you leave it without a com without a comma here, and then you'll just dive into your regular you know select query that you're going to run. Um, so let's pull out this table name. So we're going to run a second to create a second table called zip, which has state code, I believe, has zip code and state code from this table. Um, we don't need to do any filtering or aggregation there. Um, and that's really all we need to do. So we're defining, we're pulling from census, we're pulling from zip um, on, and we're joining them together on their zip code columns. Um, and basically we, what we did there is we removed this logic to make things easier to read. So that now we're just doing a straight join and then we're gonna group them together by state. So if we run that, um, we get the same results that we had before. Let's look at California. Yeah, we have 37.2 million people, which is the actual population of California in 2010. Um, so really, this 
you know, using a with phrase and then defining your tables up front, um, it basically is for readability later on. So it makes it more straightforward for people to pick up the queries that you wrote and say, you know, what what's the table logic here? What are we pulling from? Um, so it's really for readability. Function functionally, it's the same as you know having all of that contained within the the query itself. Um, I just think for you know for maintainability, it's just a cleaner way to do things, especially if you have a bunch of different joins, right? If you're you could join together like you know four tables like this, um, and if you have a bunch of you know complex logic in here, it's it's not going to be very readable. So I don't know. This is just personal taste. Um, if you want to get a little, a lot of SQL is, and especially with BigQuery is kind of getting your style down so that it's easy to work with other people. Um, so this is using with is, is one thing that I like to do for, for joining. So hope you enjoy it.